Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Judy and you're watching Running So and So. And I'm sorry I've been away for a while. I'm recording this today because I've got my Think Pink box. But I also wanted to come on and say thank you so much for your love and support and for everybody that's been in touch and sent messages, um, have been round, sent a text. I really appreciate it all so, so very, very much. The good news is that surgery went really well and I'm on the way road to recovery. I'm hoping I've got another week off work and that after that I can go back to work because I'm getting fed up. Um, I am still quite sore and once that all wears off then I can get back to normal. Compared to where I was a week ago it's like 1000% better so I've got every, every, every bit of positivity going in the right direction and I think that I'm going to be okay next week. Um, I also want to say um, thank you to everyone who has watched and liked and commented on my last vlogs. I am absolutely staggered. I've been sat here looking at my subscriber figures going up and I can't believe how I've got to where I've got to. And it's just your love and it just means so very, very much. So thank you so, so much for everything. I'm actually in the house on my own. Um, my children have been in touch a lot. Um, my daughter's been down a lot. It's a bit harder for my son to come over because he's a bit further away. But the whole family's been in touch and of course I've got my guard dogs who have been the most amazing pets I think anyone could have. Um, we all love our pets. Um, I've got dogs at the moment but I also adore cats. I've always had cats up until the time I got Poppy. When I had Maggie I got, I had two, two, three cats when I got Maggie and then it went down to two by the time I got Poppy and since the cats have gone I've not been able to replace them because I don't, Poppy's nature just doesn't gel, we did try, so I do love cats as well, um, and I would love to have cats again, one day, one day I'll have a cat again, but the girls have been amazing, um, they've not wanted for anything, and they've just been totally accepting of the fact that they haven't been able to go out for a walk, but this morning I went for a walk with Hannah, I have had my Think Pink box, now I've opened it up already, I've not opened the box, but I've opened the package because at the top of the package is this gorgeous little package here. Now, this is for a certain lady in Oregon. So, Lorianne, if you're watching, your fabric is here. I can see what it looks like on the other side. All beautifully wrapped up for you to my <laughs> pink door box. I decided that perhaps I needed a little bit of something extra. So I've bought some lovely bamboo jersey to make the Naya t-shirts by Tammy Handmade that everyone's talking about. I think I mentioned it in my one of my last vlogs and I never got round to it because I haven't got round to making those Naya t-shirts yet. They're all, everything's washed and prepped to go. But I have got a few alterations to do for people in the village. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show you one of those before the end of the video because I think I'd like to see what I've been up to. And then I bought this. Now, I've been eyeing this up on Andrea's website. Now, I know it would make the most delightful salt water slip. The colours look lovely on me. Um, here. It's a beautiful, beautiful colourway. Really, really summery. And salt water is what I'd like. So here we go. It says, new box coming soon. So the first thing you always get from Andrea is the beautiful little leaflet that tells you what's in the box. So this month's box is three, two and a half metres of a viscose. There are three colourways and she's wishing us a fun unboxing. And on the back there is a recipe. She started putting recipes on the back and it's for an easy fruit sorbet. And it's three cups of raspberries, raw honey, lemon juice, warm water. And there's a peach one. Now, I've got so many raspberries in my garden. And if those raspberries need chopping or blending, I've got the stuff for it. So there you go. You've got the most beautiful recipe card as well. I'm just going to pause you for a minute because my daughter-in-law's texting. So, daughter-in-law text back. First of all, we've got the sparkly tissue paper again. Is this pink? I love this paper. So I'm going to really, really, really carefully undo it because it is so, so lovely. And I like to keep my fabrics all wrapped up in the um, paper. 
And I like to keep the stickers as well. Oh my gosh. I think that Caroline and Andrea and the team over at Beyond the Pink Dawn have spent hours getting everything ready for us. Just to wrap everything up like this, it just takes forever, doesn't it? Ladies, we really appreciate... <gasps> oh, Ooh, I'm thinking outside the box. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, now this is going to push me. So I have got a lovely green. You can see the fabric just there. Oh. Oh, I'm thinking slip dress already. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh my God, I'll come back to it in a minute. I've got the card. It says, I'm in a flip-flop state of mind. Think pink, box number 70, 17. I'm in a flip-flop state of mind. And do you know something? I've actually just bought new flip-flops. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is that not just beautiful? Now, I'll put a link below for to Laura, the specky seamstress. She has the most beautiful haberdashery that you need to go and check. And she's got the most gorgeous label. Now, I've got another box to show you, and I'm going to tell you where I'm going to put this label in a minute, because I know exactly where it's going. I'm going to hold on to this for one minute, because this is so different to anything I would ordinarily have. And you could have it in blue, or you could have it in pink. And I've got green. No, I love green. Can you not just see slip dress? That would just make, I'm thinking, Sicily slip dress. And I know I would definitely get my Austin dresses out of that by Grainline Studio. Oh my gosh, it is just lovely. I'm going to hold it up to me in a minute. So when you come back to me, it'll be wrapped over me. These greeny colours really do suit me. So let's have a look and see what's in... Oh, this is a bit heavy. What's in here? Ooh. Oh, this smells gorgeous. Oh, it's soap. It's seaweed soap. And it smells absolutely designed it's called dip designed divine it's called zero waste seaweed plain free hand made irish soap that is gorgeous i love soap in the drawer to keep it scented i don't know what else is in oh, hold on a minute This is interesting. This is a foot and body care scrub pad. Now, I will find this exceptionally useful because I do have, um, it did say foot, didn't it? I do have quite um, hard skin on my feet. And without going into too much personal detail, I do have um, a recurring fungal thingy in one of my feet. And this is going to be absolutely fantastic because sometimes it itches and this is going to be brilliant. It's really, really going to ease my feet. Really, really. So, Andrea, that is absolutely lovely. Thank you so very, very much. I absolutely love it. you are. I look as if I've gone to a colour consultancy, don't I? Throw this round your hair. arms, won't you, Mrs Watson? Yes, we'll drape this one on you to see if you look OK in it today. So, the other thing that I have bought myself is the Luskin Tire Bag Kit by Guthrie and Garney. Now, I am a huge, huge fan of Guthrie and Garney. And I've not done this unboxing simply because I just haven't felt as if I've been up to doing an unboxing of this particular kit. I have undone it. It's not a live unboxing. I've already looked at it out. The instructions. Now, the instructions are very, very comprehensive. Typical Lauren instructions absolutely amazing telling you how to do it now I think it's really important at the moment that everybody feels that their sewing is accessible so I'm not going to say you need to have a cutting out board what you need is a flat surface and something to secure your fabric down with you then need to have a marking pencil now chalk pencils are better 
You can use a pencil crane. When I was quilting, I was taught to use a pencil crane to mark my design out. So the quilt that's behind me here, that you can see in the background, that's my whole cloth quilt and I marked it using a pencil crane because it rubs off. So you need some kind of chalk based pencil or a friction pen that you can iron off. Or if you want to use a biro, you can use a biro. Just remember you need to cut exactly on that biro line because those markings will go into your seam allowance and they will not be seen. You are making certain that whatever you mark on your fabric, and I'm sorry to sound as if I'm lecturing, is not seen. But on the subject of no pattern, many years ago, and I'm really sorry, I do not have this bag to hand to show you. And somewhere in my house, probably in my garage, is this bag. And it is a tote bag. But this pattern itself, and I'm just going to go into it because it's really old. I mean, we're talking 1988, 1989, when somebody gave me this. That's exactly how I got my bag pattern. Can you see that? Oh, can you see? And that's exactly as it is with the Liskin tyre bag. I wasn't expecting a pattern. I'm not criticising it either way. It's just that I'm quite happy not to have a pattern. Um, in the kit, Lauren has provided dot and cross paper. I won't be using it. I'll be marking straight on with my straight edge. Now, the other thing I was going to say is you need a quilting ruler. What you actually need is a set square and a straight edge. Um, and you can get straight edges. Straight edge can be a scrap of wood as long as it is a dead straight edge. That's what it is. This bit of dowel here, it's, you know, it's a metre long. That is going to be, if it's just a, a square cube, like a piece of wood, you can buy bits of wood from um, B&Q. Um, I've got them that you can use for beading. They call them two by threes or something like that. That is a straight edge. And if you have two of those butted up to each other, you've got a right angle. If you've got a children's geometry set with a set square in it, you've got the kit you need to draw out a bag pattern. That's all I'm saying. And sometimes it's easier to draw straight onto the fabric because you can tessellate perfectly, which is why I'd advocate a chalk pencil or a friction pen. If you're going to invest in anything to do a bag pattern, if you've not got anything, I'd buy a friction pen because by Pilot, they are branded, I'm sorry, and you can then just iron it off. This is where this beautiful label is going to go. I am going to combine my pink door box with my Luskin tire bag. So here we are. I'm going to tip the camera down and you can see what's inside my Luskin tire bag kit. Along with my lovely green fabric, which I, it, I'm absolutely adoring. So you've got your buckram, which will be used to shape the bottom. You've got your G700 lining, which is a cotton interfacing, iron-on interfacing, which you will need to use to strengthen the bag. This is excellent. I much prefer a woven interfacing. Woven interfacing, I sometimes feel you've got a little bit more manoeuvrability with it because it's got a little bit of stretch. I think it's just easier and gives a better finish. Personally, I don't like using interfacing, as you all know, but that's just me. Now, I chose the neon summer fabric for my bag. Oh, I just love it. And this, I am hoping, I'm hoping that Rachel's going to come over next week while I'm still off work and we're going to make our bags together. But she's in nano mode today, so I haven't, um, haven't just reminded her. And I believe that Lauren has bought this fabric in from France, from a French designer, which is absolutely gorgeous. And you've got calico to line it. You've got the dot and cross paper. And you have a bag of notions. I love a sewing society kit. I have had a few over the years and um, they are a total and utter luxury. But anybody that's been through the operation that I have been through deserves a luxury. A total luxury. So I'm just going to shut that down there. Oh, I'm actually going to put this inside it. I'm not quite certain where on the bag... I will put it, but I think I, there's a little pocket and I might find some, oh, there it is. So I'm not quite certain where on the Luskin tire bag I will put this, but it will certainly fit on it somewhere, somewhere that people can see it. I just want to remind you that the views that I give you in these vlogs are my views and I know that other people have got different views and I think that's what makes us all so special that we've all got our different views and slants on everything. So 
The one thing that I have been playing around with this week, and I've been able to do it because it's actually helped me, and it's been really good therapy, um, a good bit of hand sewing, because when you've had a general anaesthetic, it can sort of make your brain go a little bit to mush. So I'm, I think I'm avoiding a bit of brain fog by doing this. Um, and I've been able to do like 10 minutes and then, it, then it's knocked me out for an hour. But um, one of the mums at school where I work has asked if I would sew up a slit on an ASOS dress. Now the dress is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is the colours of it. I mean, the colours again? Green? I don't think green. Rachel said something to me this morning about green. Am I missing a trick here, folks? Do, do let me know. So what I've done is, I've been sewing up the split. Can you see it there? Just come on this side, that's better. So what I've been doing is, I've been sewing up the split. Now, I can't do it on the sewing machine. And I'm actually what's called faggoting. It's called bringing the two edges together and I'm faggoting it from the inside. And then I'll have to faggot it from the outside as well. But as I go down, I'm removing the stitching. So when I get to the 14 centimeters, I'm going to create the machine stitching so that she can never tell that it actually has been sewn up. You can see where I've got my fingers there. So this is how I know that the tops need to go. There's a little lump there from the bottom of the zip. Now that's nothing to do with me. That's to do with um, the way it was made. But actually, um, it's it's really, really, really lovely. And where you've got pin marking, you, you can iron it. And if you just rub it with your finger like that, gently, you don't need a long nail. You're better off with a very, I don't have long nails because I work with children. I keep my nails um, really short because of working with the kids. So I've been rubbing my fingers down down here and it's slowly but surely it's bringing the, um, the, the pin marking out and that's the only problem with a lot of these fabrics. Gee, I'm looking down as I'm talking to you because I'm actually rubbing the pin marking when I do it but slowly but surely it's bringing it out and she will never know that, that it had the split further up by the time I finished with it. But I'd much rather do this. I'd much, much rather do this now, and I, I, it's just what I need. I've also got um, a lady's brought another lady's brought something round for me just to titivate with my with with. It's going to require one line of machine sewing. She just wants a, a, a tweak on the back of a dress she bought from Sainsbury's, and she said, "I'd much rather pay you a tenner." To, well, it's only going to be a tenner because it's one line of machine stitching to get that sorted. She said, rather than going out and buying a new dress, because everybody's thinking about the sustainability of their clothes. Oh, I had some. Um, Oh, that's the other thing I've done. I've done some cushions. I had the cushions to make. Um, I hate doing soft furnishings, but I don't mind a cushion cover as long as it's an envelope back because you're not going to have any, any problems with the zip. So this is the one I did for Lou. And it was to sit in her... Um, you can see it was just to sit on a shelf. And she's got a lovely piece of fabric left. And I said, I'm going to show you how to do this, love, because you do not need me to make you cushion bags. And then I've made these cushions here. I've made four of these for the lovely Laura. And both the ladies have said it's quite happy for me to use their names and to say what I've done. And now Laura bought this fabric in the village. There was a fabric sale. And it's all very old fabric. Now, this is not soft furnishing fabric. And it has been a little bit tricky to work with because it would not stay still. It's a wool-based crepe type fabric. But she said it's going to look lovely on the sofa in the boys' playroom. So, bless her. Uh, I've done that for Laura. And I've done four of these. And they've driven me around the bend. And I did sew poppers on two of them because I just thought these... It's the only way I'm going to get this fabric to, to play the way I want it to play. But I've managed to get them done. So I did those the week before um, my operation. And Lou came and collected hers one day this week. So it was lovely because she came in and had a cup of coffee with me because she only lives in the village. And Laura's going to come and collect hers next week um, when she can fit collecting from school in from an early finish from work. So the Mabel dress. I did start it with Andy and I love it. But I wasn't happy with one little bit about it. So I'm going to change it. I can't show it you now and I'm not going to. I got very giddy because I made a Mabel with the Northern Soul Sisters and I was so excited that I'd been able to join in with one of their challenges but I wasn't prepared to share it because I wasn't happy and all this happened literally in the days before I had my operation. Um, it's just one of those things we don't always make things that we like straight away but I know what I can do to make it right and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to film that and then I'm going to share with you what I'm doing to it on my next vlog. But for now, thank you so much for staying with me. If you've enjoyed watching this, 
please give me a thumbs up and if you've never if you've not subscribed to my channel just click that subscribe button and join me on my vlogging journey I would love to have you aboard with me so for now bye